Hello everyone. I am Prepper Princess. I am the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing this, purchasing this book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. Do you all remember those savings bonds that your grandparents would give you for your birthday or for Christmas? And they were usually $50 and all you really had to do was get the whole, to get the whole $50 is keep it for 10 years. Well, mine were sort of an orange color and I did keep them for 10 or more years. The reason you, ha you had to keep them for so long is because your grandparents were able to walk into a bank and give the bank $25 for a $50 savings bond. Your money doubled in 10 years if you kept it. This is about a 7% interest rate over those 10 years. Well, savings bonds never really went away, but interest rates were so low that nobody was really interested in bonds anymore. The stock market has been on a really long-term growth and for the past several years, you would have been able to make a lot more than the 7% per year over year, which is better than the savings bond rate had you been in the stock market. The bad news is that you can no longer walk into a bank to get a savings bond. They now have been changed into an I-bond or internet bond, which is only available through the US Treasury website. When you discuss investing with professionals, the rule is usually that when the stock market goes up, bonds will go down. Then when the stock market goes down, bonds will go up. We are headed toward a recession and the inflation adjusted US saving bonds will have an inflation adjusted interest rate approaching 10% beginning in May of this year. So this might be a good choice for those of you that want very, very low risk, but you still have time on your side. US Treasury Series I bonds will offer annual interest payments of 9.6%, which is based on the bond's latest inflation rate calculation. This calculation is tied to March's CPI, Consumer Price Index, and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, prices rose 8.5% year over year in March, which is the fastest pace since 1981, the year I was born. Every six months, the interest is compounded and reassessed in May and November of each year. With the surge in U.S. inflation gauges, these typically cold sellers of bonds have now become hot sellers. In 2020 and 2021, only $1.2 billion were issued in these bonds, but that number has grown substantially in the past six months to a whopping $11 billion, which is almost 10 times the normal yearly amount. Remember that I-bonds are guaranteed by the federal government. They pay a fixed rate that is set by the treasury plus an inflation adjusted rate that is determined by the change in the consumer price index over the past six months. Thanks to this upward tick in the consumer price index, I-bonds are now considered a top yielding US asset and they carry nearly zero risk to any loss in principle. Bonds also offer an added benefit in terms of taxes. You can defer declaring the I-bond interest until the maturity or redemption of the I-bond. That income may be tax exempt for lower and middle income families that use the bond to pay for college tuition. If you are an investor seeking a safe and high yielding investment, there isn't really anything better than the I-bond in terms of risk. The bonds might pay even more if the fixed interest rate is raised by the Treasury Secretary, which has been held at 0% since May of 2020. As we all know, interest rates on banks are pretty much next to nothing. This option would be 150 times the annual interest paid by the average bank. It is three and a half times bigger than the I-bonds paid just a year ago. There are a few strings attached, which are that I-bonds can't be traded like treasuries, and they are only available through the U.S. Treasury Department website, which is treasurydirect.gov. They cannot be redeemed for at least one year, and if they are redeemed in less than five years, there is a penalty of three months worth of interest unless you are the victim of a disaster in which that penalty would be waived. There is currently a cap or limit on I-bonds for $10,000, but there is a higher limit of $15,000 for those who put $5,000 in their tax return in paper bonds. There are financial experts that are attempting to have the $10,000 limit raised to $100,000, but this has yet to come to fruition. 
I-bonds were created in 1998 as a way to help Americans save for investments like college and retirement and to ensure that those savings will not be screwed up by future inflation. This video was inspired by a recent article written in the Wall Street Journal, and it was brought to my attention by my personal financial advisor, who is Joseph Laswell. Joseph has been my personal financial advisor for a really long time, who I found on the Dave Ramsey website. I would like to thank him for forwarding this information to me so that I could then forward the information on to my viewers. And so you can weigh all of your options and make the best possible financial decision for yourself. If you are interested in investing with my personal financial advisor, I'll go ahead and leave his contact information in the description box below. I am not affiliated, affiliated with him, but be sure to let him know I sent you because if you do, he sends me chocolate and I like chocolate. I hope this video has been helpful. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess Just out. as an FYI, you should all do your own due diligence before making any investments. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not certified. This is for entertainment purposes only. And um, personally, I do not have any I bonds at this point, but Given that it's like 9.6%, it is definitely something that I'm going to be looking into in the month of May. Uh, as I film this, it's April, so we're not quite there yet. Um, and I also wish that I had smell-o-vision because the house smells amazing because my roommate is cooking something and I don't know what it is, but he always shares. So, <laughs> good times. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have anything else. I hope, I really do hope that this video has been helpful because there are a lot of really, really people out there that are really freaked out about risky investments or the stock market. And this is something where your principal is just not gonna, it, it's backed by the federal government. So you're not gonna lose any money on your principal. So there's pretty much zero risk to that. Anyway, that's what I got for you today, folks. Bye. What you making? Uh. What you making? What, what Jamaican, what are you making? The uh, pork with the uh, onions and jalapeno and... Yeah, Rocky's drooling over it. Um, and then what I do is, normally I just wrap that up in... Uh, Go ahead, people love hearing about uh, food. Nice. Normally I just wrap it up with cheese and tortilla. It smells really good. What seasoning did you use? Mm, seasoning, salt, and Ooh, it pepper. Oh, good. Garlic, pepper, garlic, garlic, pepper, salt. That stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. But mm. now I got uh, some avocados for them with it, or sour cream. I think Rocky likes you more than me. You see that you think so? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so.